Hey guys, I haven't been here in a little while. Uh, I've gone through a very rough experience and in lieu of that I've decided that enough is enough and I have created a new blog specifically for the purpose of Aspies especially, those on the spectrum, Spectrumites, Aspies, Audis, AU community, those of us who are wired differently and yet not acknowledged for that a lot of the time. If you identify as an Aspie, whether you're diagnosed or not, you know in your heart that you are, you relate with other Aspies, you know that you have an autistic mind, then that is the truth. I feel that we are we have a brilliance about us that uh, c causes insecure people who are on a power trip or whatnot in their position to feel threatened and to attack. If you don't know what structural violence is, look it up and you'll find that there is a form of structural violence I feel toward the autistic person autistic persons. I know for a fact, because I've heard this on your comments, on my videos, and from your messages, I've heard a lot of pain and anguish and frustration and stories of experience with this terrible phenomenon. And I myself have been very, very hurt by it my whole life. And I was really beginning to make a recovery. And I had a nasty setback. And I'm going to get through it. I'm not able to talk about it just yet, but uh, when I write my story and contribute it to the blog when the time is right after I have figured out how I'm going to deal with it, what I'm going to do about it, three words, it's not okay. This blog is called It's Not Okay, and I called it that because when I was melting down, and crying and rocking and screaming in pain I kept shouting it's not okay it's not okay it's not okay it's not okay so I thought you know what that's what I'm gonna call this blog so we communicate differently we show our feelings differently we process differently and it's invisible and we have challenges and we have amazing brilliant strengths that again like I said make people certain people feel threatened and bully us bullying doesn't just occur in the schoolyard it occurs in the adult world and those of us who are Aspies diagnosed or not but even more so the undiagnosed when it's not identified they have no guard no classification to use in order to try and make someone at least out of political correctness treat us civilly even with the diagnosis, if people are not aware of what autism really is, then they will refuse to believe you and will disrespect you in a hurtful way for not being what they think is Asperger's or autism. Um, I believe in us as a people. I think we're a strong but sensitive 
strong but fragile, that's what I am, strong but fragile and sensitive people. And I don't, and we don't deserve this kind of treatment. We have very pure hearts and the lack of empathy that is supposedly described is appears to be what it's not. In fact, we're overly empathic and that is part of, the, of our struggle in socialization, integration, sensory integration, and living amongst humanity as it is right now in a society and in a world that is full of injustice, violence, judgment, greed, and everything else. I strongly encourage you to share your stories because it's therapeutic to all of us if we come together and share our stories and expose what happens to us and how we are victims of being bullied or being systematically broken down to the extent of developing comorbid mental health. Mental health issues, supposedly, really just autistic stress, I think, in which people are affected differently with. And um, guys and girls, girls are particularly, and I don't, and I'm sure, and I know guys are too, but being a girl with Asperger's has been really hard. Being a woman with autism, looking the way that I do, looking normal when I'm not and I have an autistic brain, and having that pressure, having to live up to a certain standard, and if I don't, then I'm looked down upon with can, with disgust and I'm a good person I know I am and I care about humanity I care about our AU community and I care about creating change so that people don't get hurt and push down because somebody else wants to gain or devalue. Stories could include specific situations where you felt abused, misunderstood, misinterpreted, ousted, snubbed, and stories could include sort of a bio of description of how you've been broken down by in, in acceptance and ignorance and therefore structural violence and abuse. Um, if, if you want to remain anonymous, by all means, please do. It's, I strongly encourage you to come forward with your truth. Again, if you want to remain anonymous, that's understandable. You know, let's bring forth things, issues, topics that are not often addressed. Let's bring forth self-harm. Let's bring forth comorbid mental illness. Let's bring forth meltdown and breakdown, autistic meltdown, breakdown. Let's bring forth self-medication. Um, addiction is kind of a harsh word, I feel. I feel that um, Aspies and other people who feel different or are, are um, having mental health issues or other dis or disabilities
I feel that very sensitive people who feel energy and vibrations and are affected by negativity and injustice and abuse and bullying and being pushed around and not being accepted because what hurts is having your truth devalued that's what hurts we just are very honest people it's very very painful and and a lot of us self-medicate in that is something that should be brought forth you know um, there's a book called Asperger's and Alcohol Drinking to Cope the first of its kind let's bring forth those stories too let's talk about um, use of alcohol or pills or anti-anxieties or what whatever um, for the purpose of medicating sensory issues and anxiety social anxiety overload um, I feel that there's a lot of people out there that are not diagnosed and s some of them may be uh, sucked into a haze of self-medicating which then unfortunately masks their Asperger's condition and uh, it's very sad because some people may die that way and never know and they've and it's been this way from hurt other people also develop actual full-blown mental illness because the brain chemistry of an Aspie is very sensitive to traumas and if it's rocked too many times sometimes it can break apart or be imbalanced um, that's all I know that's what I'm seeing it is not okay with us dot blogspot dot ca that's the blog and send your stories to it is not okay with us at gmail dot com in the name of neurodiversity love tolerance and social justice be open be honest be raw edit edit them as best you can because unfortunately I don't have I don't have time to edit and and um, I'm not the best editor it takes me it takes me a while to edit even my own stuff because I'm I write a lot of run-ons set be raw and real it doesn't matter if you have a diagnosis or not and I invite family parents supporters friends of autistic people to share their stories of support and their thoughts and ideas for change and I invite people with other um, issues who have felt discriminated against and have been wronged by systems and workplaces and people and institutions and what have you to share your stories the more stories the better and you can write more than one story you can write about specific experiences you can write a bio just you know describe who you are you don't have to say your name just your age and your gender and your experience and um, how you have come to be or had come to be in the past broken down and also if you were able to recover from it then share your stories of inspiration on how you recovered and how you feel about how you're going to continue your recovery so I think it's sort of like we'll have like this class action blog where you know if we had hundreds of stories even thousands of stories we could I mean how can so many people come together with these stories I don't want to close the blog off just to Aspies although it is primarily for Aspies to share their stories of anguish um, and survival I would also like to invite other people who've experienced those types of injustices to write stories as well because I don't like to exclude anyone who I feel uh, deserves to be heard and deserves to to be corroborated you can also share stories in response if you feel touched by somebody's story or you relate with it or whatnot 
let's just wing it guys let's just do this I'm gonna be okay and I can't I'm not really ready to elaborate on the experience but I will say that I know who I am and I will um, not tolerate it and um, I will come back strong and you guys can help me with that by sharing your stories and showing the world that we're not alone, that many, many of us suffer and that it's not okay.